This free thought vlog is about the right to change your mind. And to get some inspiration for this, we read from the Bible. The Bible? Yes, the Bible. And the Islamic Hadith too. Never doubt the word of God. Don't challenge his eternal wisdom. That's what a lot of religions preach. And it's true, in the Bible and in the Quran, these kind of phrases are often repeated. If you read the Bible or the Quran as a piece of historical literature, the way I look at it, God, as the main character of the books, often appears to be a kind of a rough, relentless figure. If you don't obey me, I'll kill you. If you don't want to follow my orders, I will drown you with floods. The people who wrote these kind of stories were reflecting the roughness of the primitive societies back then. But if you look a little bit further, sometimes you may find interesting other stories. In one of the early books of the Bible, the figure Moses is on the run with his people. God is constantly irritated by their behavior. Despite the efforts of Moses, his people are not following God's rules. And God's anger reaches a climax when he sees that they are worshipping a golden calf instead of worshipping him. He says to Moses, I have seen these people and they are a stiff-necked people. Now leave me alone so that my anger will burn against them and that I may destroy them. But Moses tries to pacify God. No, don't do that. Turn from your burning anger and change your mind. And then... After a lot of arguments, it is written, God changed his mind about the terrible disaster he had threatened to bring on his people. That's interesting. He changed his mind. God listened to Moses' arguments. He retreats from his initial plan. Maybe my uh, first reaction to destroy and burn everyone was indeed a little tiny bit too reckless. God is in this story not omniscient. He can learn. In the Hadith, a part of the Islamic faith, there is a part that somewhat echoes this. In one of the stories, the Prophet Muhammad sits on a magical flying horse that flies to heaven. On his journey, he hears from God that to honor God, people should pray 50 times a day. But on his way back to earth, on his flying horse, he ran into Moses, Moses again. What has God prescribed for your people? Moses asked. Uh, he has prescribed 50 prayers, Mohammed replied. Go back to God, said Moses, for your people will not be strong enough to endure that. So, encouraged by Moses, Mohammed visits God again with this question, and God reduces the number by half. But on his way back, Mohammed meets Moses again, and when he hears what Mohammed achieved, he says, no, 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 go back to God again and try to get less. It's still too much. Mohammed grabs his magic horse again and returns for the third time to God. And this scene is repeated several times, it's quite funny actually, until Mohammed dares not to visit God again. The point of both stories is, there is apparently always room for discussion. Some wise words, I say, as an atheist humanist. The so-called holy books are packed with lines like, there is one truth and one rule. And too many religious people focus on just those. I would say religious friends also look at the lines about doubt, regret, about debate, about discussion, and the few stories in which God was persuaded by another opinion than his own. And aside from these stories in the Bible and the Quran, to say that the Almighty God can't change his opinions is rather blasphemous. After all, if the Almighty is not capable of change, he is not almighty. So think for yourself. Debate, question, change, regret, doubt, and amend. Even God is doing it. I wish you many free thoughts.